How do? How is everybody? Uh, right, I've had uh, a few private messages. Well, I'm saying a few, three. <laughs> uh, on the TOC forum. And I've also had uh, quite a few emails asking me what my setup is for me, for my TV and uh, internet, etc. How do? How do? How do? Hey! I used to have the my uh, not my Wi-Fi. Um, blimey, I forgot what it's called now. Motorhome Wi-Fi, and you had a modem in your do it in your van, and you had a like a long white thing. I'll try and put a picture up anyway somewhere somewhere on screen now. It's called Motorhome Wi-Fi. I can't fault them, I'll be honest with you. The only thing wrong with them, I'm saying I can't fault them. <laughs> the only thing wrong with them is some sites you go to, the Wi-Fi is not supplied by the site. It's a private company. And you can't use the my the Motorhome Wi-Fi. What it basically does, it, it picks up... Hang on, let's put it down. It picks up a Wi-Fi signal. Sends it to your uh, router, which is this only little square thing. Like I say, I'll put a picture of that somewhere else. And then what you you basically then become a hotspot. Like I say, I had one. And we were once, which I think it was two thousand seventeen for the birthday bash, and I think I had roughly twenty people connected to it. And I was watching a, a film on Netflix. No buffering. No, they are really good. Not with them as well, you can pick up from a McDonald's or anything. As long as you've got the code, you basically point it to wherever you want, where the Wi-Fi wi is. It drags it in. You put the code in and everything. Uh, and and, and, and then that's it. Right. There is places, obviously, where if you're wild camping or anything like that, where you can't, obviously, you can't do that. Um, so I've decided to go after going on the wild camping forum, I decided to go with uh, a home uh, router of three. So it's home Wi-Fi basically, and it's done with a SIM card. This is my setup anyway. Right, that's that's what I have. Uh, like I say, it's a home Wi-Fi, and now it's fallen on the floor. Well, maybe not on the floor. Anyway, back there, you've got obviously, that's your 12 volt. Right, regarding the 12 volt, I, I th I'm not sure about this, but I am sure, if you will. They've stopped doing these now, and they've started doing some others. You need to be making sure that it can actually run on 12 volts, which I think all these do. Because I can't see these being too forty. You know, they'll have like a wire going into your plug socket, but they'll have boxes on, you know, to drop the drop the uh, voltage anyway if you do if you can manage to get hold of one of these i'm trying to think of the name of it hang on i shall put my glasses on i shall tell you what exactly what it is because it should have it on bottom shouldn't it it's a model b311s220 there look the bottom input 12 volt one amp Right, it comes plug for 240. Obviously, you get rid of that. Well, you don't get rid of it. I, I still got it because I plug into the 240 when uh, 
were on electric hookup. I purchased oh, one of these. It's just a 12 volt, uh, they call them cigarette sockets, don't they? But they're not actually a cigarette socket, are they, any of these days? Call someone tells. Anyway, yeah. Then, what I do then is, right, basically, there's your 12 volt. Right, so you just plug that in and into a cigarette lighter. The back here, that's where your SIM goes. Uh, I pay £21 a month, unlimited data. I have not had a problem with this whatsoever regarding picking up a signal. The only place I haven't had one, but it's just this, where the where it is, and it's the station in at Riverhead where the viaduct is. You can get nothing there. No phone signal, no internet. Uh, yeah, but like I say, we were uh, wild in it one day. I think we were in lakes. And there were mountains on each side and we got a two bar signal i couldn't believe it i really couldn't anyway yeah i, I really recommend these anyway um you can also add an external aerial to these underneath here under there that and that is for an external aerial i actually thought there were two on these I thought it were a double one, but it didn't. It's a single one. Yeah, and that's for your external aerial. Well, here's me. I've been looking for the ones with the two wires, and it's only one. I am gobsmacked. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that. Well, I can. But when I've been looking online for the... Anyway, so I've I've done it myself. Right, yeah, so anyway, this is this uh, how it works. Right, obviously the 12 volt. I've got some sockets here. Goes in there. That goes into your power source. Can you see that? Wrong one. Typical. That's your search, that red thing. And there we are the light is green the trap is clean <laughs> right so there we have it now obviously i'm going to get three bars anyway aren't i you know because i'm at home but really do rate these really do yeah um i also have a, a what they call it um is that on no We also, we also have a, a smart TV, which are only about £20 more than a, a regular TV. Now obviously this will pick up the internet from there, so we can watch, well if we're going to BBC iPlayer, um, There you got you. Oh, where are we? Menu. Come on. Got your Netflix. Right, these are your apps. BBC iPlayer, ITV Up, Four, My Five, well, Five on Demand. Got them all. Even Tinterweb, look there, look the browser. We we use that 
BBC iPlayer or Netflix. But all I'm saying is that all works off this system. This is the system I have. Like say with the iPlayer and you can watch live TV through the iPlayer. Yeah. Anyway, so that's my setup regarding the internet. It's fantastic. It really is, honest. 21 quid a month, unlimited data. Uh, if you're not using the van, obviously you're paying for no, you're paying for nothing. You know, but uh, over winter period, I might cancel me Virgin and take this inside. You know, because it, it's brilliant. It really is. It's really good. Anyway, that's my setup.